I bet you there's no way they wouldn't do that. They it's gonna brought, be super hip hop, but they have they brought young tribe? Young, tribe called Quest might come. Ooh, maybe not them. That'd be they're dope. Consistent though. They don't, oh. they're, they ain't, you think they can afford Tribe no, after the? Yeah. I, I ain't talking about yeah. Price. or De La. One and of them two. I'm talking performance wise. They already wise. did De La though. Talking about performance so. wise though. Okay. Yeah. Because Tribe is fucking. It's I just know, but it's like Q-tip and fucking like random ass people on stage, so they wouldn't bust a rhyme. They probably wouldn't perform. Right. You know what I mean? But they definitely. Who do you think? Twenty One Savage coming to Soundset? Fuck no. I don't know. You don't think so? Nah, not yet. Nope. But I think Uzi Vert. I think I was gonna say if anybody out of those dudes we said maybe Little Uzi Vert. Maybe. Song's huge. Song's huge. And I like and I like the song. Actually, I don't even know a Little Uzi Vert song. I'm gonna play it and it's dope. I gotta look him up. I heard the Twenty One Savage shit though. He's horrible. Yeah, that shit is horrible. Yachty's very horrible. Yachty's horrible, but I can guarantee out of out of those three, one of those three will be at Soundset. That's my prediction. Maybe Uzi Vert, I can see everything. Well, like Uzi Vert is going to be the Uzi. Right, or Travis, Travis Scott. Scott. Yeah, yeah. Travis Scott's going to be there, definitely. Lil Drake's Uzi coming this year, baby. Drake, they can't no, afford they Drake. Yeah. Hey, well, he he got afford, but he got his own. They, they can afford him, but it's, he doesn't Party own, next door be here. He does his own event, though. Man, yeah, the OVO yeah. Fest. And, yeah. it's, and it's too close, like, you know. It's too exactly, close yeah. To Canada. They already had J. Cole. We already did Big Sean. They could do J. Cole again. might be time for Kendrick again. Or if Kendrick and J. Cole afford really... If right. Kendrick and J. Cole drop the shit they're supposed to drop. Oh, they'll be here. For February. They're supposed to drop their album together. For real? That's going to be the shit. That would be dope. Yo, J. Cole coming out. I got to get the new call. Right now. I ain't J. even Cole got it. got yet. an album coming out next week. He's, I know. You know it's already out, though. He just, for the bootleggers. He they ain't supporting it. Yeah, the yeah. song he dissed all them dudes we talking about. Yeah. He dissed everybody, actually. He dissed everybody. Did. Well, not really and dissed, Kanye West. He really and everybody. Dissed, I don't think he called. Yeah, he's just in general. He did like what you're supposed to do as a rapper. Like, I'm better than these old niggas and these new niggas. Right. And I can top my old shit. He's so articulate. He's very articulate. Dude, that's what I said. In these two songs that I heard. Him and fucking Kendrick are A. I can't pick between those two. They're one A and one B. Like they're neck and neck. I want to pick Kendrick, different. but then when I hear J. Cole, I'm like man, he's fucking with Kendrick. Kendrick, though. but Kendrick, Kendrick, like speaks in like in like in like riddles and like and like almost make. Yeah, people. Don't I would like say like them. I would say almost like they call it. You know, there's a witch language. You know what I'm saying? That they use a lot. Like in a. Uh, it's not witch music. language. It's, it's like it's the, it's. I don't know. I, I, think, J, think, I think J. Cole, J. Cole right. is straight. Yeah, straight more straight forward, forward. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And gets to the point, and but very articulate. Like explains himself very well. Like. You know, Kendrick uh, is for the thinking, man. If you like, it's my for the thinking, like to man. Think. I think like, it's, man, I think I it's more like, like the that's feeling. That's like when my boy told me, like, man, I don't like to think when I listen to my music. I think so it's, that's I why think mumble rap is running shit. That's why mumble. That's why Lil I'm Yachty has got y'all niggas going crazy out here. I liked it when somebody say some shit. Like, 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 like that's my. That's why, like Kendrick, that album he got. To Pimp a Butterfly. Yeah, the more you listen to it. Right, I hear, I hear new shit on there. Yeah, yeah exactly. I didn't, you hear yeah. Shit I didn't like it at first. I didn't like it at first, like it at first it either. Like, he yeah. even said it, though, when they dropped it. He's like, y'all, it ain't going to be a classic to years later. Right, He right. said that shit yeah. when he dropped it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That shit gets better the more you listen to it. He's like, man, yeah. I just finally got the fucking, um, the, uh, oh, man, the one fucking song. I was just listening to it. King Conta? Not If These Walls Could Talk. Uh, fuck, man. Uh, damn, I'm not forgetting the damn song. I remember he was just talking about, uh, how he grew up and shit. Um, oh, Kendrick. Man, what is the name of that damn song? Kendrick Lamar. Uh, we're grabbing to him. Get off your ass. Or, oh, yeah. Off uh, mm-hmm. Shit don't change. Oh, yeah, yeah. that yeah. song. That, that right. song. That's the best song. But I, I like really, sure. really decoded that shit. I was like, oh, man, I, he's really, really talking about some Kendrick deep is deep. Shit, yeah, no, Kendrick deep. is deep. No, he's definitely deep. He's deeper than J. Cole, I would say. He definitely is. Like yeah. you said, is he better? I don't know. They about neck and neck. like more clear, straight to the point. Right, right. Right. Is it like Biggie and Pac, though? You know how motherfuckers go crazy in Biggie and Pac. That's just two different styles. Yeah, Yeah, it's two different styles, exactly. Yeah, Tupac is killing Biggie, so there ain't no comparison. It's going to be wild. It's going to be wild after all these little diss songs come out, man. Right, right. These cats are going to say some funny shit. Right. Aqua, when you going to be on Soundset? I already did it. We did it 2012, baby. Again, main stage. Again, main stage. Oh, bro, I tell you, I tell you what, I've got to. Maybe I should call up some people. See? <laughs> maybe I gotta call up, some phone calls, call up bro. your chicks and get them to get the get that shit in motion, pimping. Don't hang out with slug, I guess. Right, right, pimp guess, out the game. I'll this guy's gonna out. pimp sound set. So once in a while, like like go out and I might like hang out with slug, but like I never talk to him about nothing yeah. important. You know, just talk about like I don't know, getting fucked up and laughing at some shit. Laughing at right, some shit, it is it is awkward, like uh, like talking to people today, man. It's just like weird as fuck when you see people in real life now, man. Like. Social media has like killed our social shit. Like <laughs> people don't talk like, no myself, more. It's hard to all they do is I, I this. Look at them on the phone. That's I all they do. I never want to talk to people about shit they posted on Facebook. Or like, hey man, 
I saw your Facebook post the other day. <laughs> that happens that every day. Every day. I never want to be that person, yo. Every it day. Happens, bro. Every day. Niggas be like, every hey, day. Death, cut the crap. <laughs> no bullshit, man. I swear to God, man. You get the, like, you get the crap like, like all a, the time. Like a sure. fucking couple months ago, dude, I'm outside at my grandma's. I was talking to my grandma and my aunt, man. And this Somebody dude, yell at you? Yeah, this dude comes up and parks on the opposite side of the street. I was rose down the window and yells up, like, hey. <laughs> I just got your friend request, dude. <laughs> and, he just, and he just wow. stared at us. It's like, so it's one of my aunt's like old ass boyfriends. I don't even remember actually, like, I might have friend requested him like it was the same months ball, ago, right? like years right. ago and shit. Right. But he just now got it. And he just stopped and said that. And just stopped <laughs> in the middle of traffic. Uh-huh. And that's all he said. And we're just like, uh, 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 okay, that's, my nigga. Like, right, I'm right. Gonna, that's, finish talking to my grandma. He's like, all right. Fucking crazy, that's man. Crazy. That's, that's some St. Paul shit. That's that, yeah. Yeah, it is. I was going to try to dispute that. Yeah, it is. That is some St. Hey, Paul man, shit. St. Paul's way better than Southside, man. Uh, yeah, it is. Shout out to St. Paul, it. man. Shout, shout, shout out to St. Paul. We love y'all. Shout out to wet, wet blunts. <laughs> wet flavored blunts in St. Paul. <laughs> Twin Cities, man. That's how we do it. Yeah. The battle. The battle. The battle. The battle of the city. Oh, remember oh, we had that gosh. Facebook we, uh-huh. we, or we weren't even oh, yeah, yeah, talking yeah, shit. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Hey, man, people was actually in my inbox like, man, Every while time. y'all doing that shit. <laughs> <laughs> man, what, Southside <laughs> beef? Yeah. No, we just right, talking St. shit about like St. Paul and that shit. Uh-huh. Like, he said, like, bitches in St. Paul wearing three X white tees or something. Oh, I think I said everybody in Minneapolis like wearing patchouli oil or something. Right, right. We just going back and forth, man. Right. There's actually people in my inbox that y'all, That's it's fine. all Twin Cities, man. Y'all should be like doing Like, y'all calm y'all down. Y'all should be doing that. Yeah. <laughs> calm down on each other. Go easy. That was funny. Uh, yeah. That was funny. You did, come, you did come out. Usually, no, usually we can, like, roast pretty good. Like, me and right. we get to, we usually kind of get everybody, but you was on fire that day. Yeah, Wizzy's a uh, St. Pauli now, so he, uh, yeah. He shout out to the, yeah, to like, Wiz. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, shout out to Saint Paul. Wiz, shout out. St. Paul guy. Legendary Long Doe, baby. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that's what I was saying. The, uh, the Minneapolis mayors live in St. Paul, and the St. Paul mayors live in Minneapolis now. <laughs> that's, how, that's how it happens. That's how it goes. The mix that's up. That's crazy, yep. That's yeah. how we get down. It's the all mix. Cities, baby. Yes, all day. Yes, all day. Yes, all love. All love. What do you guys think about Minnesota as a state as opposed to the Twin Cities? Like, when you leave Minneapolis, when you leave Minneapolis, when you leave St. Paul, it's, it gets kind of weird sometimes out there, right? A little bit of what? I like I home. I, I travel. I, I be in, in paradise, and I be missing this motherfucking I stink pot. I travel a lot. People look. Uh, people no place are, like are, here, man. Corny in different areas. Yeah, you're, right. just, you, you're used to what you're used to. That's what that's it is, true. Basically. That is every true. Every time, except, yo, whenever like the way I dress or some shit, or like I don't know what it is, but every time I leave town, though, I do feel super out of place, man. Right. And I just want to get back to me. Right. Like, right. like we're right. different here. I'm right. not knocking nobody, but right. like, dude, I've been a lot of places too. There's no place like here. Want to get back. And then sometimes I just want to get back to Minneapolis. I might be wearing some overly, overly something clothes. Yeah. Right. But you know when I have to get cocky though, when I go to Miami though, like I got, like I got to get cocky on them and be like, you know, this is what the fuck we do. This is what I do, even right. though I'm not at home. But I think that's easier to do it there because there's so many transplants from Miami. Right. So it's easy for me to flex out. I was kind of like intimidated a little bit, but I realized a lot of people they see me as I was the exotic. Thing. Right. Yeah. So right. I was just about to say that if you stick to like what you do yeah. out there, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like, like you're not from here. When yeah. I went to California, my dumb ass, I bought muscle shirts and shorts. Yeah. Trying, and to, trying to be yeah, Cali. Yeah. Cali. <laughs> and trying to be a Cali yeah. nigga. Right. And I get down in the Bay Area, them niggas got on jackets and shit. Yeah. Right. right. I ain't got yeah. no coat or sweatshirt in in, in uh, fucking San Francisco, and it's cold as fuck up there. Right. I right. thought I'm, I'm thinking California's gonna be straight hot. Man. Not all the time. Man, it was cold Not all the shit, time. Man. Right, San Francisco is like the, the most beautiful. Them niggas had on triple fat goose in San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> like what the fuck? They don't want to deal with Hell no cold, <laughs> right? Because they they can't deal with the cold. They don't want to deal with none of it. Right. Yeah, but San Francisco is a, is a beautiful. You know, remind you know Duluth reminds me of a, a miniature San Francisco. No, like Duluth the hills, is like a dirty the hills in the water. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, like a like a, a, like, a yo, broke San Francisco. Shout out Duluth, I love y'all, but yeah, now, yeah compared dirty to San Francisco, it just looked like a sewer or some shit. <laughs> I mean, the water, the water in the hills, and, the, and how windy and shit it is. Yeah, well, I mean, Oakland maybe more like closer to to the roof. No, <laughs> now San Francisco is like golden streets. And right, yeah, yeah, that is the golden city. Hell. And it's some shit. Like you need so much money. Uh, the, golden State, yeah. the Golden yeah, State. Yeah, the Golden bridge. State. The Golden Yo, you State. Need, you need so much bread just to cross that bridge. Like the bridge costs it's like so ten many, bucks, yeah, and then oh, yeah. to, and then you day. need another twenty bucks to park. Every right. day. That's just to right. go there. Go to work. Just yeah. to go to right. work. You gotta pay them toes. Everybody that stays like I stayed. I stayed in I stayed in Oakland for like a summer, for like a whole summer, like three summer, like three months, and uh. 
Every time we go to San Francisco, this shit costs us so much yeah. money, bro. Right. We have this real crazy state tent. They are always rush hour. Rush hour constantly. Mm. All yeah. day. <laughs> yeah, that, but, that doesn't sound like a place I want to be right now. Uh, mm. No, but, but no, shout out to but it's really beautiful, it is. though, bro. Like, it's, right. it's I want to go check itself. that shit out. I and people got game up north. Like, southern, the difference between Southern California and Northern California. Uh-huh. People in Southern California, they're all racist and hate each other. And But as hey, sharp as your sword, you got, you'll have more game out there being out there just to get through all that shit. Right. But as soon as you go up north, that's where everybody actually they gets along with each, with each other, fucks with each other. No, everybody, all the races connect, and then and everybody's like, like you, like you with your bitch. Like I'll be with a bad bitch down south. Somebody be like, yo, what's up, baby? Like you literally holding your bitch and shit. Like you know, I'll be like, what's up? Like they want to fight and shit. You know, right. up north, opposite. I'll be like, yeah, they bro. come out, they see you with your chick, they see you doing good, they come up and talk to you. Like yo, right. hey, bro, let me tell you some real smooth, smooth game and bam, bam, spit some game to you. Right. Tell you how to maintain your bitch or some so shit. So they're like not that. so like, they're not so thirsty in northern exactly. California. Exactly, they, 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 right. they, they, they cool, cool as hell. Bro. The bro. thirst is real, it's, Southern Cali. It's the opposite. Hold your girl tight. Same, it's same here as Minnesota. It'd be like horrible. Like people here, a lot of people, but they do not have a lot of game, bro. Here and it'd be like a lot. Like you be with your bitch and shit. Like motherfucker want right. to test you and shit out here. You know. That's called no respect. It's just yeah, yeah. called being thirsty and just right. actually having no game at all. The right. weakest thing you could ever do is try to mack on a bitch that already got a dude. I'm not well, saying just because especially you when he goes to the bathroom. I hate that shit. What if he's well, a just, pimp though? What no, if he's no, a pimp and no, he's looking but, for but new recruits? But, that, but that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah but that, choose, but that's cool. I'm just saying even if you're not <laughs> even if you're not with her, even if you're not even if you're not with her at the time, you know, like the weakest shit you could do is try to mack somebody else's bitch because you're trying to. It's like you're afraid. You can't fuck with a bitch that has options. Like you can only. You're just trying to be better than that dude. Right. You're kind of weak yourself, so you can try to figure out how you can be better than this dude instead of fucking with a bitch that can fuck with anybody. Right. Because then you can't. Because you just can't. Because then you actually gotta be dope for yeah, everybody, gotta, as opposed right. to as opposed to just one dude. Right. That's, that's a weak move. It's just a weakness. It's a sign of weakness. You're hey, you just explain hip hop to me, man. I've been asking this question for a long time. You just answered it. Uh, Why is, that's all niggas talk about in rap is uh, how uh, I fuck your bitch. Else. Yeah. Hey. Right. Weakness. These are weak little right. boys. Weak. This is weak shit, bro. With no right. game at all. Dude. The game got fucked up. I think the first time when, when, when I mean it's probably before that. But the reason why this was allowed when Jay Z said big pimping, spending cheese. That's the opposite, opposite of pimping. Oxymoron. Called totally opposite of pimping. That's uh. the complete opposite. So that fucked up the game. Now people it ain't tricking if you is, got it. Now people is well, <laughs> but it's still not pimping. Right. And then and uh, uh and up. So exactly that's the, like the whole game's all fucked up like that. The weakness is the strengths. It's just opposite. What's good and is what's bad. You know what I mean? Like. Right. Watching Superman, watching Batman fight Superman, they had to explain. It kind of confuses the fuck out of every. That shows how the game is. They're both bad and they're good at the same time, oh, and yeah. it's all it's yeah. just trying to confuse you. What, what, what's God and what's the devil? That's now we all think the devil movie. is God and I God is the shit. devil. That's why I never watched it because that shit is yeah. confusing as fuck. Yeah. It was good. They came together. At it's, point. it's tricky. It's tricky yeah. though. But they're trying to confuse us to think who's is God is the devil. The devil is God, and it's all good. Like, both you know the niggas is fucked. Up. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't trust. Just don't trust it. I just don't trust it. And yeah, but that's just that's a weakness. That's definitely a weakness though. Somebody else's bitch. But hey, get your own hey, girl. But, but, bitch, but at the same say, time, if the bitch is going, I mean, yeah. it probably ain't really his bitch. Right. You know, right. If she, she makes eye contact, community puss. She breaking uh-huh. the rules of pimping. Mm-hmm. And she makes eye contact. She no. makes eye contact. Nope. Definitely not. Hey, ain't it funny like when ho- when girls you know that are hoes or been hoes throughout <laughs> their life on Facebook be having boyfriends. <laughs> Like a week and shit, and I be like, well, I be feeling sorry for the dude. She's yo, like, oh, I'm here with my my boo. Yeah, like, I ain't gonna say who, but yo, this bitch, this bitch the other day was just talking to my to my homie and shit, and was like, you know, she's trying to like get him to mac on her, you know, so like she's like, you know, she keeps sending him sending him booty pics and shit, you know what I mean? Mm. And then and then and he's like, all right, you know, takes her out to eat, you know, she's all over him, you know, you know what I mean? Fucking with her, they do all this shit, you know, and then and then. But she ordered too much food at the restaurant, B. She ordered everything. <laughs> and then she ordered dessert, dessert came up. And my, and my dude, my dude got bread. Right. So it wasn't anything. But he was like, this bitch, I could tell this. I just didn't like her attitude about it. And then it, it literally the next day, she hits him up. Like, yo, what's up? What are we going to, you know, are we going to get for dinner? Or what's up? You know, we're going out to eat or some shit. Or can you bring me some food or some shit? And she, he's like, just ignored her. Because, like, this bitch already... She already played herself. She's hungry, man. Right? Yeah, she hungry. She hungry. She just wanted to eat. Cool. But, and, <laughs> but, then, but then she literally Facebook post, um, 
Oh uh, man, I just really need, I need a real man that comes come through for me and my daughter. So throwing the daughter around. No, she's literally hungry. Yeah, yeah no, exactly. literally. That's I the know. thirst. She's just starving. Out I know. Here. Yes. I know, but then she, but she's like, that's why I need a real man. I can't be out here chasing these dudes and bam, bam, saying this shit. She do a subliminal at my dude, and then later on that night, some dude came and brought her tacos, and some shit. And she took a picture of the tacos, <laughs> and she's like, shout out to my bro, my, baby, my, my bro, my dude. <laughs> Like, bitch, for some tacos, bitch, you a simple yeah. hoe. That's hey, all it takes. Tacos, baby. Hey, man, I fucked the bitch for a gargantuan at Jimmy John's before, bro. Oh. Hey, yo, hey, hey, <laughs> hey when, hey, yo, when times are tough, I fuck, I fuck, I fuck ugly bitch for a polo sweater, bro. Oh. <laughs> Shit. Done it multiple times, man. I did it. That was like 2011 or something like that. No, I gave her the gargantuan sandwich. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> well, she, my bitch is but she had to take me shopping. She and then we had to hit the the the, the clearance rack even because the polo sweaters I had. You remember I had that green, the green one with the gold that was like a. And had the green you got so much look, look, man. I'm not even gonna front. You got so much polo shit, bro. No, I don't remember. I, had, uh, I don't think I've ever seen you in anything else but no, polo. No, shit. no, I have. No, all of all I wear is polo. I'll tell you why. Like I'm being serious. I haven't I'm, seen you I'm, wear nothing I'm, else. I'm gonna tell you why. And this is like ten years. I mean, I'm gonna tell you why. Just imagine me. I mean, I'm in a project in California, in Riverside, California. I got this wild. I got this wild bitch. That's like, she gets social security checks because she's crazy in the head. You know what I'm saying? But uh, uh, yeah. She, but she wild as hell. I'm, I'm just fresh out of jail and shit. I mean, I'm far away from home, in California. I can't come back to Minnesota because I'm, I'm on because I'm on probation or whatever. Right. And then fucking uh. And she's and she's sweating me and shit for shit. And I just went shopping and I and I brought some clothes. I brought some clothes, but I had one polo shirt and I wanted to only wear polo. This is like two thousand. This is like two thousand. I don't know three or some shit. Five. Right. No, this is like two thousand five. And I I wanted to, I wanted to only wear polo clothes, but but I uh but she but I couldn't. Cause I had a bunch of other gear, you know. Yeah. But I don't know. We got to arguing. I forgot what it was about. I just never came home one night or some shit. And she ripped up all my clothes. But right, but I bought my, I bought this shirt and I put it, in, I put, I stuffed it in a mattress, under the mattress. So she ripped up all like my drug clothes. money. She ripped up all my clothes except for this polo shirt. And I pulled this polo. And at the end, I was like, pulled up shit out the thing. And I said, from now on, bitch, I'm only gonna wear polo. There it is. Watch. And ever since then, that's it. The birth, the birth of polo. Socks. That was it. Pimping too, the same yeah. instance. Pimps only live once. No, no, actually, this, this is how I, 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 met, I met her. I met her when I had, when I had those other bitches. Uh, when I had some other bitches and she was surprised, but I I liked her like you know I liked her she was right. she looked good and I would be like you know this is a bitch she respects my pimping I can I can have bitches, but she had a um but her social security check was enough I went to jail and she held me down mm, with pimping so, that check you know what I'm saying and then I came, so when I come out I'm like okay everything's all set up but she was so crazy I couldn't deal with her for a couple of months and then I, um and then I ran away and then I told her. Told, you ran away? I told her I was in, I told, <laughs> I told her I was in Victorville, which is like this a big desert in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. And I and I gave her like an, a number and address to my friend's mom who lived there. And I remember I went out and visited her once and uh his mom and uh he had a, a it was in we had to take a right at a cactus and a left at a tree. Uh -huh. No way that nobody's ever gonna find me. Right. You know, I'm on probation and everything. I told my probation officer, I'm out here in Victorville. I told my girl, I'm out here in Victorville. And then I just dipped out to Cali. Nobody's seen me since. <laughs> Damn. So I got a little disappeared. I got, I got a little. Uh, I got a small warrant out there for that shit. For my oh, that's right. warrant, but uh, but it was for weed originally when I got busted for. So I think I can go back now. I've been waiting to go back. That's what's up. Shout out man, to Victor Bill. All type of shit, man. Before we get up out of here, mm -hmm. let's do one last little promotion for all right. emotions of the emotional pimp and all that good shit. Yo, this is produced by Abe Lincoln. Produced the whole thing from Lincoln Music Group. And uh, this is just my heart and soul and how I feel. And I need me a cougar, bitch, baby. Hey. Mm. That's what's up. That was, a, that, was that shit. You want to leave us with B? Uh, I just want to say shout out to uh, everybody that's joining us, that's joining the movement, Local Celebrity Podcast. Shout out to uh, the creator, you. Shout out to uh, our guest today, Aquafresh. Shout out to my man back there making it happen. Y'all don't see the, the magic back there, but he on. <laughs> So shout out to everybody uh, tuning in, man. That's pretty much it. So yeah, man. Shout out to the Beasley world, man. Yeah. Shout out to your fan base and all the chicks on Facebook, man. That's what's yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, we out. <laughs>